Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm sharing a spooky sweet card with some patterned paper ink blending, Copic coloring, and sparkles, so let's get started. First, I'm using a piece of patterned paper from the new Starry Skies Petite Paper Pack. Some of the patterns have white stars and some have gold foiled stars. I'm using the darkest blue shade with the gold stars for today's card. I start by trimming a piece of the patterned paper down to an A2 panel. Then I blend Chip Sapphire Distress Oxide ink around the edges of the panel to provide a little contrast. The difference between the paper color and Chip Sapphire ends up being a little too stark for me. So I go back in with faded jeans for a softer fade. I also add black soot distress oxide ink around the edge. Once I'm done blending, I use a soft clean cloth to wipe any excess ink off the gold foil stars. I love that the foil resists the ink so you'll still get those bright shiny stars and you can really change up the look of the patterned paper with a little ink blending. Next I use the new Full Moon Dye to die cut a piece of white cardstock. I blend antique linen and scattered straw distress oxide ink around the edges of the moon for a little contrast. Then I stamp the branches from a bug deal and a bunch of images from Perfectly Wicked with Copic Friendly Black Ink. I color the images with Copic markers before die cutting them with the coordinating dies. I'm using cool grays on the cauldron and shading on the bottles and E70s for my cats. I start with my darkest shade first and then blend out to my lightest. I use E20s for the branches and bottle stoppers, and then teals, purples, and yellows for the potions and bubbles.
I use a mix of liquid glue and HD adhesive to adhere all my elements onto my blended panel. Off camera, I die cut the Scripty Hugs die from gold glitter cardstock and black cardstock and layer them together to create a thicker chipboard-like sentiment. I also stamp a sentiment from Perfectly Wicked onto black cardstock and heat emboss it with gold embossing powder. I trim that down to a thin label and use foam mounting tape to adhere it to the card. I add a few accents with a white gel pen and extra sparkles with a shimmer pen. Then I add Nouveau Crystal Glaze to the bubbles in the cauldron and sprinkle them with Chunky and Prisma Glitter. Finally, I cover the rest of the bottles with Nubo Crystal Glaze to finish the card. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Lawn Fawn channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting! Bye! Thank you.